This is the story of Sona, the sparkling white gold of Pakistan. For the people living in this land, Sona, true to its name, has meant prosperity. The Sona story really started in May 1978. A joint venture between Fauji Foundation, a leading charitable trust in Pakistan, and A.S. Haldor Tropso of Denmark resulted in the incorporation of the Fauji Fertilizer Company, or FFC, as a public company in the private sector. Today, producing nearly 60% of total urea fertilizer produced in Pakistan, FFC is an integral stakeholder in the sustainable growth of Pakistan's agriculture. As the market leader, FFC also plays an active role in advising the government on crucial issues relating to the fertilizer industry and its impact on the country's agricultural and industrial growth. The high-tech production facilities are regarded as amongst the best in the world. And the company's brand Sona, launched in June 1982, has since been established as a premium brand for urea fertilizer in the country. Vigilant monitoring and stringent quality controls ensure Sona urea as a premium product and as the strength of FFC. Vision for Fauji Fertilizer, uh, now that we are in the industry for 30 years, of course, we started as being uh, amongst the only ones in the country. But now that we have, uh, uh, have 30 years behind us, uh, we must not stop where we are and uh, we are looking towards diversification, we are looking towards becoming more multinational, we are accepted uh, everywhere as having standards and uh, ethics uh, which are compatible uh, to the world standards and therefore the 4G fertilizer we would like to get into the international arena. Commercial production of urea started in 1982 at a plant set up at Goat Machi in southern Punjab. With an annual capacity of 570,000 tons, then a debottlenecking program in 1992 enhanced the capacity to 695,000 tons. A second urea plant was established in 1993 with an annual capacity of 635,000 tons. A few years later, FFC participated as a major shareholder in the new DAP and urea manufacturing venture. The new company, now known as Fauji Fertilizer Bin Qasim Limited, commenced commercial production in January 2000. With a design capacity of 551,000 tons of urea and 445,500 tons of DAP fertilizer. It is the first and only plant in Pakistan producing granular urea and DAP. After balancing modernization replacement or BMR, the design capacity of DAP fertilizer has been increased to 675,000 tons annually. Then in year 2002, FFC acquired through the government's privatization process the urea plant at Mirpur Mathelo in district Gurki of the Sindh province. The aggregate production capacity of the company's three plants presently stands at 1.094 million tons. The debottlenecking of Plant 3 at Mirpur Mathelo enhanced the capacity to 574,000 tons to 718,000 tons annually and the aggregate design capacity of the company to over 2 million tons annually. The company also has an equity interest in Pakistan Morocco Phosphor SA in Morocco which meets the entire raw material requirements of Fauji Fertilizer Bin Qasim Limited's DAP plant. Quality control at the plant sites is the hallmark of FFC, from manufacturing to bagging to storage and transportation. A highly experienced team of professionals with specialized skills ensures the company's ethos of excellence in all operations. Complementing this, the marketing group of FFC based in Lahore executes a growth-oriented and customer-focused marketing strategy. The lifeblood of the company, the marketing setup, was in place throughout the country from day one. The marketing area itself has been divided into three sales zones, 14 sales regions and 65 sales districts, with a network of more than 3,300 well-trained dealers. 160 strategic satellite field warehouses meet storage requirements throughout the country. All this infrastructure is also used to market fertilizers like DAP, SOP and Boron imported by FFC to offer farmers a one-stop solution and to promote balanced fertilizer use. 
Over the years, FFC has proved to be a catalyst for the country's industrial and agricultural advancement and has set several milestones. Declared as the highest taxpayer in the corporate sector in 1993-1994. Ranked in the top 25 companies by the Karachi Stock Exchange for 13 consecutive years. Topped the list in 1997. First company in the fertilizer sector to achieve ISO 9002 certification in 1997. Largest fertilizer marketing network in Pakistan, spread throughout the country. For the past four years, the annual reports of FFC have won top awards for transparency and presentation from local and international bodies and organizations. The company plays an instrumental role in the agriculture sector and has maintained a, a, a fair share, in fact not a fair share, a big share of the agriculture sector, both individually and collectively. And the niche of this company is efficiency. The company has very strong fundamentals and has maintained a steady return on investment on, uh, for its shareholders by giving out a steady stream of uh, dividends and also bonuses and that has uh, maintained a solid conference level by the investors. FFC values its workforce as a valuable strategic asset. Excellent quality of work environment is provided for nurturing and development of its people for sustained competitive edge. Dynamic HR practices ensure attraction of talent and competencies development through training programs, both at home and abroad. Employee-focused HR philosophy goes a long way in retention of motivated workforce. The company's technical training center at the plant site is unique in being a true replica of the plant for providing realistic training as far as possible. My association with FFC spans over two decades. Being my first job, I joined the company at the junior most level in the management cater and now I am heading the full-fledged function of advertising and sales promotion. FFC has provided me opportunities for growth and professional development through different kinds of training, both on the job as well as outside the company. But the footprint of FFC's benefits extends far beyond its own employees. The principal beneficiary of FFC's operations has from the start remained the farmer. The company's core ethos has always believed in selling programs and solutions rather than just products. Quality farm advisory services are provided through five farm advisory centers and 14 regional technical services officers based at regional offices spread all over the country. All farm advisory centers are fully equipped with high-tech soil and water testing laboratories and extension equipment. Each center has a team of five agricultural experts providing multifarious advisory services through crop demonstrations, field days, farmer meetings, village meetings, crop seminars, farm visits and group discussions. FFC has also established a micronutrient testing laboratory at the Farm Advisory Center at Gakhar, having atomic absorption spectrophotometer and other analytical instruments. Educating the farmer is a keystone of the farmer support program. FFC brings out a quarterly newsletter in Urdu, angrograms, posters, brochures and pamphlets and telecasts crop documentaries. All these highlight improved agronomic practices and contain information on production technologies for a large variety of crops and orchard food products. Kashtkar Desk Helpline for Farmers has been set up and is accessible on the company's website. A fertilizer guidebook is published containing comprehensive information on various fertilizers, their application methods and economic use. <laughs> सोना यूरिया जी कंपनी है इन्होंने सड़क एक बड़ा बड़ा आसान किया है कि सानू बढ़िया सुविधा दी थी ने आके ते सारी मिट्टी नु चेक कीता ने करके मिट्टी नु चेक ते फिर ओदा दसया ने को ऐसे जरबे ना खाद पावे ने